everyone, it's Melanie Ham. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna make this adorable little crocheted coin purse. It is so cute. All the girls in my family are getting these for Christmas. Um, really quick project, simple, adorable, uh, very high quality looking. And I actually have a kit available for you guys if you're interested in making your own. I have a, a kit that has all of the things in there that you will need to make it. So it comes in five colors and it has the hook that you need, the yarn, the clasp, the hand sewing thread in the exact color that you need um, and all of that. So you can click the link down below to learn more. Of course, it's also going to be linked at my blog, melaniekham.com and melaniesmakers.com. You do not need to have the kit in order to follow this video. So um, you can have your own clasp, your own yarn, and have your own supplies. You can still follow along with this video and learn how to make the coin purse. I have a super limited quantity of these. This is sort of an experiment to try out something a little bit new. Um, once we're sold out, I'm not planning to reorder. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. The link will be down below. But whether you have the kit or not, we can uh, do this tutorial. So let's just jump right in and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So let's get started making the body of our little coin purse. And if you have made my basket tutorial, it's the exact same thing, okay? So if you've done that, then you'll be easy. This will be easy peasy for you. Let's get our yarn ready. So we are gonna start with a magic circle. So hold on to the free end, wrap it around a couple of fingers, insert your hook and pull it through. I have a whole video on the magic circle if you need a refresher on that. A little slip stitch. The directions are gonna be on the blog. So this is something I like to do. I'll take a screenshot with the instructions. Even I have to be reminded of, of how many stitches are supposed to go where and um, put it on my phone and that way I can just refer to that as I go or I will have a PDF download as well for you guys. You're gonna want a single crochet seven inside of your magic circle. All right, there is seven. So now we can pull on the free end to tighten it up. And slip stitch back to the beginning to form a circle. Chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna do two single crochets and each one of the stitches going all the way around. So that would be a total of 14 single crochets. So that's a way that you can kind of double check yourself. And you're not gonna put it in this first little guy where those chains are coming out. We're gonna start it over here. So there's one and then the second one in the exact same stitch. So two single crochets in every stitch going all the way around. I'll meet you there. All right, and we're done with that round. Now we're going to slip stitch it together. Chain two. And then for this round, we're gonna do two single crochet, one, two single crochet, one single crochet, two, one, and do that in the pattern all the way around. Again, you can refer to the written instructions if you need it. So two in the same stitch, one, and then we'll repeat two, one, two, one, going all the way around. All right, that round is complete. We're gonna chain two again, one, two, and we're gonna do the exact same idea. Do two single crochet, but instead of just one, we're gonna do two consecutive. So two in the same stitch, then one, then one, for a total of two single crochets next to each other, and then two again in the same stitch. 
So it's two single crochet, single crochet, two, two single crochet. And I know that that's really confusing for beginners, but just remember that it's two in the same stitch because we are still increasing. Two next to each other, two in the same stitch. Two, two next to each other, so one and one, two in the same stitch, one and one for a total of two, etc., going all the way around. And we're gonna do the same pattern to increase this until we reach the size of our clasp. So whether you're using my clasp or another clasp that you've purchased at your own shop, you just keep going. So it would be two, then three consecutive stitches, two, then four, two, then five, and so on until you make the size um, coin pouch or basket or whatever it is. And so here's my clasp. So no matter what kind of yarn that you're using as well, you need it to still be this, you need your, the base of your coin purse to be about this size before we start making our walls going up, okay? So that, for this ends up being, it's gonna be another four or five rounds to get it large enough. So go ahead and continue, refer to the written instructions if you need them. Here is it's so far, I just finished the two with the three single crochet round. And you can see we still need to keep going. All right, so here we are. Now, the round that I have finished on was the two single crochet and then one, two, three, four, five, okay? So there's five single crochet stitches in between. So that's the round that I ended on for a 4.5 millimeter hook and this yarn. Once we have finished our base diameter, we're gonna do a single crochet in every stitch going all the way around until we reach our desired height. So what that's gonna do is create these walls that kind of come up and then we'll be able to create um, the pouch by then sewing the top of those walls onto our clasp. So when we get started, we'll do the same thing. We'll chain two. single crochet, putting our hook in between with those two strands, and then we are going to single crochet in each stitch going all the way around. Now this is the time to put on a movie, get comfortable somewhere because this will take you a little bit of time. Um, but it's really easy because it's the same thing over and over again. There's no counting. There's no keeping track of your stitches. You're just single crocheting. And also keep in mind, this is the right side. This is the wrong side. You can kind of see like my little bit of a seam here. This is the wrong side. So as we create the walls, we want to make sure our right side is facing out. Okay, so go ahead and single crochet in each stitch going all the way around. I'll meet you back here to show you how you can continue it with a spiral. That way you don't have to continue with the chain twos. So instead of slip stitching with this stitch, we are going to just continue single crocheting all the way around. And it will, you can see it's starting to flare up, but it's gonna take a couple of rounds in order to be able to really see those walls start to form. Okay, so several rounds. So if you're not seeing it right away, that's totally normal. You're not doing anything wrong. Okay, so now we've finished and I'm not even going to chain one or chain two or anything. I'm just going to keep single crocheting. So here's that transition. It's really subtle, and after you do a couple of more rounds, you won't even see it at all. It'll end up all completely leveling out. Get comfortable and do your single crochets all the way around until you reach your, reach your desired height. I'm gonna say about two inches tall is what I'm gonna go for. All right, here is my little pouch so far, and you can see here we're about right. So now the next step is what, I would, what I'm gonna do is put a slip stitch on each side of the pouch so that then we can easily attach that to our frame. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to slip stitch in the front loop 
going all the way around and then I'm going to stitch in the back loop and it's going to kind of create this little valley that we can put the frame inside and the stitch will come up along the outside of it and then we can hand stitch it onto the frame. So a slip stitch into the front loop only. So this is the front loop and there's the back loop. So we're only going to insert our hook into this front loop. See, normally we put it underneath both, but we're just going to do the front. And then we're going to slip stitch, which is yarn over, pull through, and then just continue pulling that through the loop on the hook. That's a slip stitch. And we're going to do that in each stitch going all the way around. All right, so I'm back around to the beginning. You can see right here where that stitch kind of looks like it's rolled to the front. That is where that stitch is. And here's where we started before. I'm going to slip stitch and then I'm actually going to uh, cut it and tie it off. Is Yarn over and pull that through. Give it a little tug. So as we're going around, this is our slip stitch up here and this guy is that ridge that we need to put our slip stitches in. That back loop. So starting here. All right. Here, here, and here. So we will pull our new yarn through. So once we have that attached, pull through. Okay, now we're started. Go to the next, here's that back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Okay, and here. So go ahead and finish doing your slip stitches in that back loop all the way around. Okay, we're gonna stitch here. And then we'll slip stitch it back to that initial round of slip stitches that we started. Pull it through. And now what we need to do is weave in all of our ends to prepare for attaching our frame. So get your yarn needle out. If you purchased my kit, then you have one in your kit. If not, you need a yarn needle or a tapestry needle. And don't forget to do the one on the inside. Just go ahead and weave those tails into the inside part of the pouch so that they're nice and hidden and secure. So go ahead and finish weaving in all of those tails. So I wrapped my thread around the yarn back here a few times with the knot just to get it to secure and then pushed it back through to this side so that we are now ready to sew. And for the first few times, if you don't pass through and catch the other stitch. I'll just go ahead and pull it through, loosen it up, find that stitch back here. Come back through the next hole. And same thing, if you don't, if you're not able to catch it right away, that's no big deal. Just pull it through and then go back behind. the crochet part that you were supposed to, no big deal. And then just sort of pull that up so that then once we get going, it'll be above those holes. So then we'll insert over here underneath this guy and into the next hole. My, the back is lined up a little bit better now so I can just pull it right through. Right, and then we'll go back down the next hole. So 
So there's how it's beginning to join. Here how, here's how it's looking on the first side. There's the inside. Now, right when you're about halfway done, I want you to sort of size it for the rest of the pouch because I've let, I've let it bunch a little bit on this side. So this side I'm gonna need to stretch a little bit more, which is totally fine. Just make sure you check that halfway through because um, the, the crochet obviously has some stretch and some give if you need to kind of bunch it and gather it a little bit more or you need to stretch it out a little bit more, you can do both. So just be aware of that so that you can make sure to get a good fit. And then when you finish one side, just travel the thread along the inside of the pouch in those fibers so you can't see it and then continue stitching on this side. And there you go. That's how you make the coin purse. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing the kit to make your own coin purse, you can click right here and learn more. And if you need the written instructions and you've got your own supplies, you can click right here and that will take you to the blog post where all the written instructions and all the rest of the details are. Don't forget, you can also check the description box below for even more details. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.